Welcome back, Subelement E0. If you're just joining us, you'll want to go back and review the nine other videos that I've posted. This one is going to be short and the final video of this series on the extra class subelements for the new question pool that comes out 2024. Subelement E0 covers safety. One exam question comes from the one group. And one group is E0A, safety, which covers RF radiation hazards, hazardous materials, and grounding. E0A01, what is the primary function of an external earth connection or ground rod? B, lightning charge dissipation. E0A02, when evaluating RF exposure levels from your station at a neighbor's home, what must you do? B, ensure signals from your station are less than the uncontrolled maximum permissible exposure limits. E0A03, over what range of frequencies are the FCC human body RF exposure limits most restrictive? C, 30 to 300 megahertz. E0A04, when evaluating a site for multiple transmitters operating at the same time, the operators and licensees of which transmitters are responsible for mitigating overexposure situations. See each transmitter that produces 5% or more of its MPE limit in areas where the total MPE limit is exceeded. E0A05, what hazard is created by operating at microwave frequencies? B, the high gain antennas commonly used can result in high exposure levels. E0A06, why are there separate electric and magnetic MPE limits at frequencies above 300 megahertz or below 300 megahertz? That's D. All of these choices are correct. So, A, the body reacts to electromagnetic radiation in both the E and H fields. B, ground reflections and scattering cause the field strength to vary with location. And C, E field and H field radiation intensity peaks can occur at different locations. E0A07, what is meant by 100% tie-off regarding tower safety? B, at least one lanyard attached to the tower at all times. E0A08, what does SAR measure? C, the rate at which RF energy is absorbed by the body. E0A09, which of the following types of equipment are exempt from RF exposure evaluations? C, handheld transceivers sold before May 3rd, 2021. E0A10, when must an RF exposure evaluation be performed? on an amateur station operating on 80 meters. A, an evaluation must always be performed. E0A11, to what should lanyards be attached while climbing? D, tower legs. E0A12, where should a shock absorbing lanyard be attached to a tower when working above ground? A, above the climber's head level. Thank you for joining Father Daughter Gaming for this video really appreciate the support and hopefully these videos will help you obtain your amateur radio extra class license be sure to check out the other videos on this channel and also check out our sister channel 5-9 radio